Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos for website owners and for business owners. Um, this series is entitled Seven Mistakes Web Owners Make and How to Avoid Them. Hello everyone, my name is Chanel Polk. I'm a freelance writer, editor, and proofreader. I have a background in journalism and um, what I've been doing for the past few years is helping website owners and brick and mortar businesses uh, kind of enhance their presence on the internet. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we're going to go through seven mistakes website owners make and how to avoid them. And this video will go through mistake number one. And so I am going to use my very own blog as an example. So what has happened for me, as happens for many of us who um, either work independently, freelance, or own our own businesses, is that we don't have time to work on our websites. Or if we have a blog, we don't have time to work on our blogs. We have clients that we have to tend to, uh, projects that we're working on, in my case, working on different projects. So it's kind of difficult to sit down and write content for your own website, for your own blog. The problem with that is that your website, your blog, is the source that people turn to to learn about you. It becomes the source of uh, getting new clients. Uh, it is your face. It is your real estate. It is your place on the internet. And it is of the utmost importance that your website and your blog be top-notch, uh, be current, be informational, and provide just about every piece of information that any customer or client or visitor to your website would need to know in order to connect to you, to um, to buy into your your concept, uh, and to uh, join your tribe, as is the new word right now. Everybody wants to be a part of someone's tribe. So if you want someone to be a part of your tribe, you have to give them something to belong to, something to be a part of. It can't be random information. Uh, it can't be... Uh, just a little bit here and there, incomplete, inconsistent, all of this sort of stuff. So this is what we're going to talk about today. First, mistake number one is that we do not, as website owners, blog owners, take the time to update our website content or our blog content regularly. Okay, uh, so I want to take you through my blog. Uh, actually, my blog is hosted on Blogger, which is a free platform. Uh, you know, as is um, people like uh, WordPress, people like Blogger, that sort of thing. I won't get into all of that right now. But right now, I'm hosted on Blogger. And so it's what's working for me. <laughs> so I want to take you through uh, my very old and very in serious need of update blog. So I want to click on the tab so we look at the pages. Actually, let's go back to my home page because I want to talk about content. So what I do, part of it, is that I help people create content strategy for their own websites, which means it's, it's targeted and tailored to attract and to inform people who are, uh, who will be your clients and who will be your customers, which means that you have to get information, uh, blog posts and things that is relevant to them, things they want to know about. Well, hate to say it, my blog posts are a little bit all over the place because I have varying interests. And also, at one point, I was using it as a, only a portfolio website, whereas my um, anything that I had ever published was kind of listed on here. So it kind of ran a spectrum of different things. Uh, different topics. So here you go. You have five te things teens need to know succeed in the 21st century. We'll scroll down. Three unethical freelance writing assignments to avoid. Okay, we can go further into my blog postings. Three tips <laughs> to help you look your best on any occasion, uh, which, you know, are all things that are part of things I've written before. But, you know, as I'm making the change to create a website or a blog that um, 
provides information to writers and to business owners, website owners exclusively. These things may not necessarily fit, or they may not fit how they're displayed here. And these are things I have to look at changing. So I have to, in order to inform and attract people who fit into uh, what would be my readership, I need to provide them with information that is relevant to them. And a website owner or business owner may look at this three tips to look your best on your kids and say, you know what, that really isn't relevant to me. And what they'll do is they'll go back to Google <laughs> and they'll search for something else that applies to them. And you know what? I want to keep them on my website. I want to keep them reading. I want to inform them. I want to assist them. And, you know, I want them to say, hey, you know what? I would like for her to to help me with my website, you know. And so looking at that, they may say, you know what, maybe she's not the person for me because this isn't kind of what I'm dealing with right now. And so they'll go off to find someone else. And that's not what you want. So we'll go over to my about page. Well, I don't have a picture. I have my picture in my sidebar here, which is a little old picture. So we're going to talk about that too, maybe in a later uh, video. But I don't have a picture. The layout is not how I want it to be, although it's informational. It doesn't do much to uh, communicate what is my true story. Uh, it does list my, um, you know, certifications, my education, all this sort of stuff. But it doesn't really tell my story. It tells what I do and what I'm capable of. But it doesn't tell my story. So it's not as effective. And that's something that needs updating. Uh, also, if you want to contact me, there's my contact form, you know, uh, I, I think it's pretty good right now, so I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, I have my writing samples, you know, you want to go page by page and see things that you need to upgrade, to update, to explain in greater detail. Uh, you want people to have a clear understanding of what they're looking at. You don't want them to come in with all these questions that you don't, you never want a person to say, what does that mean? What is she talking about? Uh, you never want them to say, how do I get in contact with her? What, you know, everything needs to be laid out very easily accessible uh, for people who come to your website. So here, these are my samples, just a few of them, and they actually need to be better categorized. Okay, right now I have some of the website uh, content design that I've done, some of the articles that I've written. But you know what? If a person comes here and they say, you know what, I'm looking for someone to write about health and beauty exclusively. You know, should they have to dig through everything and, and maybe question, say, hmm, traction, alopecia, and hair loss. That looks like what I'm looking for. But, you know, I want to know if she's written about... Um, Anything else? How do, does this apply? Fake hair, I don't care. What are Carol Daughter's product if they don't know? Uh, if that, that applies to health and beauty. Uh, you never know what people know and what they don't know. So you want to label it clearly. So that's something that I need to update. Uh, also, here we have, uh, I provide website assessments to business owners, website owners, blog owners. Uh, you know, do I like the way that look? Visuals are so important here. For me, I'd add another image. You know, I'd add more, um, a call to action at the bottom here, which is missing. You know, where do they go <laughs> after they read this? What do they do? What do you want people to do? All of that should be laid out very clearly. So that's something that you want to update. So it's something I'm going to update uh, on my blog here. Here I have my list of services. And so it's something you want to go page by page. Once again, you want to look at everything. Let's say, hmm, do I have any questions? If you have a friend, family member, someone who can look at it at your website, your blog, objectively, and they say, hey, you know, you know, I read this part, but I don't know how to get, how do I get your service? How do I contact you? You know, that needs to be clear. All these things need to be laid out in detail. If you have a sharp eye, then you can do it yourself. If not, you may need to hire someone to look at your website or blog and to give you a professional opinion about what you need to add and um, 
maybe what needs to be removed, what's distracting on your website. Uh, so you want to update the content to make sure that it reflects, you know, what your story is, that it um, has content that attracts people who would be your clients and customers and readers, uh, and that it's clear, that it's concise, that it's focused, that it's not all over the place, that it's grammatically correct, that it's not rambling, all these sorts of things. We'll get through, into those in later, um, in later videos. So for video one here, we got request my services. I need to look at, hmm, do I like that? Is that clear? Is it concise? Uh, I believe it is. <laughs> so that's the page that I like. So let's look at a page that I like. Request my services. Some things don't have to be elaborate. Sometimes simple is better. Okay, so it basically says request services online. Fill out the forms request my personalized services. Select work needed from the list below. Provide a detailed description of your project and click submit and I'll contact you via email with next steps for your project. It's succinct. It gets to the point. It doesn't ramble. It doesn't use extra words. It gets right to the point and I believe it's very clear and understandable. And so people can go through and fill out and they can check what they, what they want done, what services they need, and then go ahead and click submit. Uh, simple as that, uh, straightforward, and that's how you want it. That's a good page. And that's about it. So that's a walk through step one of seven mistakes website owners make and how to avoid them. So the first thing that website owners do, myself included, uh, that's important to work on is to update your website content regularly. Uh, so uh, you'll, you'll update for other reasons as well, especially if you have a blog attached to your website. Uh, blogging is a great way to increase your visibility in um, search engine uh, results pages. So uh, the more content, especially that's clustered around a particular topic that you generate and that you have posted on your website or blog, um, the more Google or search engines, others are Yahoo being, see your website as a place to go for that information. And so they'll begin to direct, you know, people to your page. It means you'll be elevating the search results. So in, as opposed to being buried on page 12 in search results, You'll creep on up to page three, four, uh, and hopefully the coveted page one is where you want to go. Uh, so that's just a little bit, little bit to discuss with you guys. I hope that this has been very informational, helpful to you. Uh, you can contact me if you need more information uh, about this. I can reach at chanelpoke.com. You just go to my website and click on that contact Chanel page and tab. And if you have a question, you can leave your question right here and click submit and I'll get it and I'll, I'll reach out to you and respond to your questions. Have a great day.